menu. Before we start the video, I just want to say that right now, until the 1st of December, I have my consultings with a Black Friday discount at the price of $21. For those who don't know, account consulting is just like a coaching service that I provide. In short, I will help you getting more power, I will tell you where to improve. I will be on your account for like 3 to 4 hours, checking every single thing, and in the end I will record a video on your account, telling you everything that you can do to improve your account, what you need to change, etc. And of course, after you see the whole video, you are free to ask me any questions you want related to the consulting. And if you are low VIP and you cannot afford a consulting, do not worry, we have our holy goth. Happy P. <laughs> so he is uh, one of the CL winners of the newest brackets. Happy P decided to sponsor a giveaway consulting for the low VIPs. If you are VIP 0 to VIP 9, nothing above that, you can participate in this giveaway. All you have to do is leave your name with a server name in the description below with the words account consulting so that I know that you are applying for the giveaway. And, and yeah, I just wish you guys good luck. I will just uh, uh, do the giveaway later, uh, probably on a stream. I'm not, I'm not sure yet, but it will be after the 1st of December. Just one more thing I want to ask you guys is like, please do not apply to the giveaway, to the consulting giveaway, if you are not much interested in a, an account consulting, because that way you could be taking a spot of somebody who would really care about improving in the game and does not have the chances to uh, to buy an account consulting from me. So please do not be greedy. If you don't care it as much for the, the consulting, just don't apply for it, okay? Hey you everyone, welcome to a new video and today we will be taking a look at the Flare Zygarde. So I got access to the Flare Zygarde before it was released over here on the test account as you guys already are familiar with the test account and I did inherit a little bit of stuff over here to the Flare Zygarde and we are going to test it out. But first, before we get into the battles and see, uh, like, we get into the gameplay of this Pokemon, let's check out the skills really quick. So first, let's get into the passive Ground Twist. At the beginning of each round, twists one of your own Pokemon and one of your random enemy Pokemon. What is this twist? This twist is, when your Pokemon is twisted, it, it has a little bit of a, an effect in battle, I will show it in a bit. So increases 30% skill damage, res, and defense up uh, for five rounds up to five times. So this can stack five times, which is freaking awesome. Uh, and when it, this is applied to the enemy Pokemon, you are reducing skill damage, restriction damage, res for three rounds up to three times and cannot be dispelled. Also, when you join a battle, the Dark and Fairy type skill damage are reduced by 15% and you have 10% damage increased. Let's check this out in a battle real quick. So since we joined the battle and we're already moving, you can see that around me I have some kind of a red thing, which is the twist, and around uh, Charizard he also has this twist thing. The twist symbol or the twist icon is this thing over here, so if I go and use uh, a, another move, you will see that I have now two stacks of the twist, and the, <laughs> the Charizard also has two stacks, Somehow I applied two stacks to Lugia. Okay, applying two stats of twist on the Lugia, I already know what happened. Basically, first of all, I used this attack that has a chance to apply twist to the enemy, and then my own passive every turn has a chance to apply twist to a random enemy. So that's why Lugia right now has two twisted stacks. Going to the first ability, we have a dragon type ability that deals. Uh, special attack damage, by the way, uh, I forgot to mention that this Zygarde is a special attacker, uh, which is kind of surprising, and this skill over here is 110 skill power and deals 100% extra damage to the Pokemons that have the, the twist effect. 
so it should be one-shotting things very easily once you get high enough stats. Going to skill number two, we have a group skill over here with 80 skill power, dealing ground type special attack damage, and when you are attacking an enemy Pokemon that is twisted, you deal extra special attack damage based on your 20% of your own HP and ignoring defenses. This can be huge, honestly. We will uh, just test it out this Pokemon later, also on stream, but this should be huge once he becomes Overlord. The skill can attack Pokemons anywhere they are, like can attack flying Pokemons and enemies with floating ability. And as you can see, the damage that Lugia took in comparison, for example, for Armor Mewtwo, for, for the Shadow Mewtwo, it was much more. And it's the same skill power, but since Lugia was the one uh, having the mark, Lugia got so much damage uh, extra based on your own HP. Going to skill number three, we have a gru group type, ground type, special attack damage skill. There's a 60% chance of twisting one enemy uh, Pokemon, so it increases the chances of twisting stuff. Uh, since the only way, the only other way that you have to twist enemy Pokemon to apply this debuff is with the passive having one random, random enemy Pokemon every time your Zygarde moves. So with the skill now, you can twist even more Pokemon. And for each, when twisting each one enemy Pokemon, your own speed and skill damage is increased by 25% for two rounds up to five times. So this can be a huge speed stacker uh, if, you, if you want. And the skill is also able to hit flying enemies and em enemies that are floating. Since it's a ground type skill, it just guarantees that attacks every type of Pokemon. And as we can see, now we have a bunch of enemies with the twist effect. Even we have already this Mewtwo and this Charizard already with the twist effect. And we can use the second group skill for huge amounts of damage. Finally, the ultimate. The ultimate core destroyer, ignoring and dispelling Guardian Souls. So it will ignore and dispel these things over here. And Focus Light. What is Focus Light, you guys might ask me? If the everything should be working correctly, since I don't have uh, enemies on the friends list that I can test with, this should dispel the spotlight ability. If there's a Regirock, a Kyogre, uh, whatever, a Groundon, anything that has spotlight ability, you should dispel it using this ultimate. Also, absorbs at enemies' buffs, and for each layer of the twist on the target, increases damage by 30%. So increases their damage taken by 30%. This skill can hit diving, flying, boring. Okay, so this skill is the skill that hits Pokemon anywhere they are. They uh, are. When I was uh, reviewing the skill, I was saying that hits Pokemon anywhere they are. But uh, what I wanted to say um, is that it hits Pokemon that are flying. So Pokemon that are usually immune to ground, they are not immune anymore. But this one, it, it hits them basically anywhere they are. And since it's a ground type skill, it also hits flying types and po Pokemons that are floating. Let's see if this is working correctly, if it's dispelling everything. And it's not dispel. <laughs> okay. Okay. It, bug led legends. It's not dispelling the, the shields for now. So this is one bug to report later to Linda or to Simon Lee. But okay, sadly it's not dispelling, it should be dispelling and it should be uh, strong enough, okay? Let's just assume it is dispelling. Let's just all assume it's dispelling, we, we all live happy. I'll just go now over here on the Zygarde and change a little bit of the skills. So, we have access to a couple of interesting skills on the first ability, and on the second ability, we have access to heavy armor, and honestly, by the looks of the, this Pokemon, by the description that this Pokemon is, having like a bunch of uh, skill damage, defense, damage reduction, etc. increased to yourself, uh, I feel like this Pokemon should be some kind of a tank Pokemon. So, related to the first ability, uh, there's many options that you can go for, but I'll probably go for Rock Armor if you want, if you don't, are not attacking first, and you want that extra tankiness, or maybe Holy Body. So let's go for one of those two. Um, okay, we got Rock Armor, we will just play with Rock Armor, oh my god. Uh, 
I kind of want holy body as well, but just for for demonstration purposes, I'll just use rock armor for now. And my game is lagging because it's world boss time and everybody's playing world boss except me. <laughs> and now on the second ability, let's get ourselves some heavy armor. Heavy armor being an, an awesome ability. Uh, I could use stamina as well, but I feel like heavy armor is the better since it also helps you protect against critical strikes. Being a tank Pokemon with heavy armor on top of it, it just makes you much better. And honestly, even just this base form of Zygarde, being a special attacker, being a, not a physical attacker, there's a lot of people that build special attackers on their accounts, and then when they want to get a physical attacker, it just becomes a little bit harder. So, this Pokemon being a special attacker, if it is good enough, uh, it can be a, a very nice option for some people. And there we go, we have some heavy armor over here. And then we have our tanky boy. Keeping up that the only thing that I have over here is just some uh, crystal body uh, and a floral healing as a defensive uh, hidden skills. And also on the strikes, I honestly have no defensive, almost no defense at all. Just a little bit of speed and special attack, nothing else. I don't want it to be too absurd. So, uh, and also no, no wishing stars at all. So that you guys can understand how powerful this Pokemon is, even without Wish Star. So let's get into battle and let's get some testings done. So first battle against a 10 million power player. If I put this on auto, I mean, honestly, uh, he sh has to win this, otherwise he sucks. That, that's the, the thing. So he just one shots uh, things left and right. And yeah, th th there's no counterplay. <laughs> So 10 million power, easy. Let's go to a highest power. No, I'm not, I don't want to go for Ubel right now. Maybe I'll go for the 16 million power. Ubel has a, a very big boy Hoopa and we want to try the Hoopa a bit later. And I hope, I think this guy over there has like a more balanced team. So the Hoopa uh, of Ubel has ho, ho set and should be a little bit different. Uh, over here, oh, he has sword and shield and a Resolugia. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, never mind. Wait, this is... Oh, this is 163 million. This is not 16 million. I've been fooled. I've been bamboozled. Okay, so going to the, the the 13 million power then. Let's go to the 13 million power. Going to the 13 million power. Um, we have a Lugia over here. Uh, not a Lugia, a Hoopa with 538. Uh, K special attack, so I mean it should take us down easily, right? We have 78k speed, he has 36k, so I'm not gonna use Volcanion. I don't want to have like a massive speed advantage. I will just start up with this uh, things over here that should apply more of the, my passive on the enemy. So just like that. I did proc the sacrifice though, so that's a little bit of a mistake proccing the sacrifice over there. But let's try now with the core destroyer. See if we one shot stuff. We are not one shotting anything. <laughs> Hello. Can we do damage, please? I think. Oh, okay. We don't do damage, but we also don't take damage. It's a Hoopa. It's a Hoopa with uh, uh, a sacrifice. And we were not one shot because we already stacked so much of our passive that we are able to survive. Just keeping in mind that, I mean, if if it, this was something like different, maybe it could have uh, could have went better. It could have went better. Uh, maybe I'll try to remove some of the speed from my Pokemon in order for me to be able to just use the Volcanion support and counter sacrifice. I believe I do have speed over here in the boots, so I'm going to I'm going to the gems of the Pokemon and try to remove <clears throat> my voice. Hello? <laughs> okay, just come over here. Auto take off. So we took off a bunch of speed. It should be kind of fine right now. Kind of. 
And, uh, and yeah. Now let's go back into Yubel. And let's fight this Hoopa. So let's start this. I'll just open with this and, uh, and now to cancel sacrifices. Oh, it was Hoopa's turn to attack so quickly. Nice. Hoopa's turn to attack so quickly and uh, I'm gonna get destroyed. Am I? I'm just basically using the group move to be able to stack some of my stuff. This is a Hoopa, by the way. It's a Hoopa with a Zorwark buff. A Hoopa with a lot of special attack. <laughs> For some reason, he's not able to, uh, to to kill me. For some reason. Now let's just use the, the ground... Uh, the oh Man, now I am confused. So the only bad thing about this Pokemon as it has his base form right now is that uh, I get... I get confused, I get controlled all the time. Hoopas, very tanky, especially with this Regigigas bu bug. So this Regigigas bug is not helping at all. But I've done quite a bit of damage. I should have some... Uh, I should have gotten some... Uh, uh, some Absorb in the my hidden skills instead of this. Okay. And... Uh, okay, uh, again... The freaking Regigigas buff. I mean, you guys can understand already. Uh, this battle is not gonna end so quickly. And uh, I believe you guys can already understand that this Pokemon uh, can be, like, really tanky. And keeping in mind, this is like a big boy Hoopa. Uh, it's normal that I probably don't do as much damage as I would want. And I already was able to take off one HP bar of Hoopa Knowing that he has the Regigigas bug, that sometimes on the friends list, people just spam Regigigas for no reason, and they are supposed to need like 6 turns to use a Regigigas. So even though, c considering all of those uh, bugs and all of those mistakes, I was already able to take the off 1 HP bar, and I just don't die as a 4 million Zygarde. This guy is probably like 6 million Hoopa, or, or something like that, and I just don't die. So let's go, go into the next battle, hopefully something like a little bit more balanced. Next battle we go over here against Miz, and over here against Miz I'm not going to use the Volcanian support to not get the extra speed, but I'm going to start, as always, with this ground move opener. Ground move opener uh, not only just applies a bunch of twists, uh, twisted stacks on the enemy and remember each twisted stacks they also deal less damage to you and look at this like where is the damage the biggest damage came from a support and okay never mind never mind uh, okay I already got damage I'm sorry I apologize I did not want you to, to hurt your feelings so uh, this ho ho should Ah, and now what? Now what do we do? The the bad type, the bad thing about this Pokemon is that one of the highest um, one of the highest damage abilities is a dragon, so it won't work against the the fairy types. But let's try with this one, that, so that it removes the buffs. It says that it removes buffs, but apparently I, I don't see it removing anything at all. I'm gonna uh, keep stacking with this and see, and boom, and we get destroyed. <laughs> Sadly, we get destroyed. So, so far he seems like very tanky, but I'm not sure about the damage output that he can do, at least on the base form. But honestly, if you are planning to get the base form, which should be like very uh, cheap this week, like with like $20 recharge, cheap compared to the other Pokemon, obviously. And you also unlock the, the Wish Star, which we will be taking a look in a bit. I mean, uh, it just needs a little bit more damage, maybe, uh, because right now, as you can see, I am playing it solo. You guys can play to, uh, with Pokemons in a team, and it should be doing much better. Over here, I'll just use my speed boost, since this guy has massive speed, and I'll probably still not outspeed this, and okay. I still survived quite a lot, honestly. Like, uh, like uh, the amount of hits that uh, the Hoopa Ultimate gave to me, uh, bro, I, I still survive quite a lot as a 3 million Zygarde, and I'm uh, almost 4 million. Honestly, let's just go over here really quick and select the boots and put all the inlays that we can 
getting a little bit more speed and more studs. And let's try this again. Let's see how much can we actually handle. Keeping in mind, I'm just a 4 million Zygarde taking a, a, a lot of things from, from these big boys. So, with this said, my, my first move, I get one shot. Uh, I still get one shot, so let me st start to stack this passive over here. Uh, over here, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard, and boom, we survive. This is already more than enough. This surviving this little bit over there, it's already so much. It means like this is probably like a 12 million hoopa, something like that, or even more in a 20 a 20 million team, and the Zygarde, after moving once was able to survive that. So I can see some potential in this Zygarde for sure, especially since he, oh, and keeping in mind also that I don't have much strikes on the defensive stats. So a Pokemon, a player that has the Zygarde with defensive stats will also deal a lot of damage with the this metal skill that deals damage based on your own HP. Everything's pretty cool, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's take a look at the legendary journey and let's take a look at the wish star i did translate this wish star before and apparently i was pretty close um over here flare star in all your of your pokemon skill damage is increased by 15 percent and the enemy pokemon restriction damage is reduced by 15 percent this can probably stack <laughs> This thing can probably stack. So imagine that the, all of your Pokemon skill damage is increased by 45%. It would be sick and reducing the enemy restriction as well by an insane amount of damage. It should be just crazy. It should be insane. Uh, so if you guys don't get the, don't want to get this Pokemon to play with it, if you guys don't like it, you can just get it for the legendary journey and you will still be happy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will overlord this Pokemon on stream, so if you guys want to join on the stream later, I usually stream at around reset time, something like uh, 30 minutes after reset sometimes. And what, uh, what is going to happen? I will just overlord it on stream, try new different things, but obviously I'll still make a video later in the weekend about this Pokemon. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video.